area in section one of the stats basic is the math review and this will set us up to get ready for doing um, standard deviation which will come up in the next unit okay so first off <coughs> I want to make sure we're all on the same page in terms of what these symbols mean so the um, sum of x is red sum of x and it means that you add up all the given values of x that's pretty straightforward this is sum of x squared. So you read that sum of x squared. And in this case, you square each value of x and then add up all those values. You're adding up then the squared values. And then the last one here is sum of x quantity squared, meaning that we add up all the values of x and then square the total. People tend to get these confused, and you need to know these three to do the standard deviation formula. Okay, so in problem number 1A here, what I want you to do is, just for review, write down what the correct symbols are here for these two, and go ahead and calculate these different, uh, these different ex expressions. And go ahead and hit the pause, and then when you're done, um, start the video again. Okay, so you should have gotten uh, sum of x as being 7, that's 2 plus 3 plus 2 is 7, and then if I square that, I get the sum of x quantity squared is 49. Over here, I have the squared values of x, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, and if I add up the x squared values, I get sum of x squared is equal to 17. So sum of x squared, that's the correct symbol for that. Sum of x quantity squared, the correct symbol for that. So problem non number 1b here, I'm going to give you the standard deviation formula. And what I want you to do is try to work out uh, the rest of this formula, plug in the correct values of um, these three that we calculated here in the last problem. So go ahead and hit pause and then um, click it again when you're ready. Okay, so the first thing you should have gotten is uh, 17 minus 49 divided by 3 over 3 minus 1. That's just plugging in. And then it's really important that you do the order of operations correctly. So we're going to take the 49 and divide by 3 and resolve that to 16.3 repeating and then resolve the 3 minus 2 and put that on the bottom. Sometimes what people do um, is go 17 minus 49 total that and then divide by 3. You can do that but it'll give you the wrong answer. So you want to do the 49 divided by 3 first, get that clear up the bottom and then from here you should be able to do it in one fell swoop. So on your calculator it's 17 minus this enter divided by 2 enter then take the square root of that and voila you're done and this is the standard deviation for these data here and we'll cover next unit what the standard deviation means we're just trying to get you to do the math right now okay so here's another problem I want you to get the x squared values get all these values and then go ahead and work out the formula again hit pause and when you're ready to start again click it alright so we should have gotten these values plugged in here which should revolve, resolve to 9 minus 8.3 repeating again you're taking this um, quotient here and dividing it to get this um, and we're doing the order of operations correctly and that should give you, um, turns out it's the same answer as before. That's just a coincidence. All right, third problem. Uh, I want you to take these values of x, set up your x squared column, get the values, plug in, and solve for standard deviation. Again, hit pause. All right, let's see how you did. You should have gotten these values for x and x squared and when you plug in you should get these values here 
And again, we're taking that 100 divided by 3, plugging that in there, and then from there you should be able to finish it in one fell swoop on your calculator. All right, that's it for the math review, and you're ready to start working uh, next unit when we get to standard deviation.